Hey guys, Scott on Tarbuck here. Today we're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 on Sandy Bay map. Now we went ahead, um, tetted all of this, raked both these fields, and baled them, and I went ahead and stacked them so you can see there's a line of two sets going down there, and there's a set here. So we're going to be cleaning everything up, getting everything put away, and hauling some hay. Now I'm not sure who won the pull yet. I was winning for a little bit today and then it switched and went the other way. It's been kinda, we've been neck and neck for a while. But there's really not a lot of voters so, but by today it will be over anyway. Cause it got over at midnight yesterday. So we'll take this home and wash it up and then put it all away. And then we also have to take the tether home and the hay rake is already home. Because I took a thumbnail with it and it is at the house. But yeah, the pull thing, I don't know for sure if I'll still be on here or what I'm going to do. But, um, so this might be the last video. It might be just the first video of many. I'm not 100% sure yet. I was going to wait till a little later tonight. A little later tonight so that I knew for sure. Like if I was going to be like 20% ahead, then I knew I was going to win it. But I really don't know yet because there's really not that many people on there voting. If they extend it to a day, it will be in the description if they extend it. I don't think they will. I think we're just going to choose whoever gets it and runs. So anyway, we're going to wash this up here and then we'll probably... Actually, we got to change the color on the pickup, as you guys probably saw in the thumbnail, that the color of the pickups changed, and yes, it is loaded with hay also. But we'll back this in here, put it away, and go jump in the other machines that need to be taken home. Let's we'll park that there. So yeah, there's the pickup. Here's the hay rake. We'll just go ahead and wheel it around, wash it quick, or park it by the washer. So we can wash everything in a big mass washing thing. So yeah, I'd like to get the Lost as Hills map on here, but I guess if I'm not on here anymore, I'll be posting on my channel. So if you guys want to go check that out, it will be also in the description. That's if I lose on this one, I'll go post on there. Post these cool, nice mods that I've been converting, like the planter. And there is a drill coming out, but it's not... We don't need a drill yet for this year. I've been haying too much. And that bale trailer that I got converted. That's nice. That's a neat mod. There's a mod out there like it. But those are the two mods. And then there's also many more to come. So, But we'll wash this up. I guess it kind of just washed up. We might as well park it then. What I'm planning on... Oh, there's where the hay rate goes. Shoot. Oh, and I guess those. I guess I didn't convert those, but they're nice mods that I saw last time. And what else did I convert? I've converted a lot of stuff, but a lot of them just haven't had the use for. Like, I'm trying to get a combine converted. That's why we have holding off harvest so long. I think I'll just do it, just do harvest on here. Just to get it up and out of the way. Those bales roll off the. Uh -huh. Oh, it rolled through. What the heck? That's weird. Anyway, we'll take this back to the house. It must have auto saved, no wonder. Because I had those bales on that fork. And, well, no, because the trailer's still there. I don't know. Anyway, we'll take this home, wash it up, get it put away. Okay, so we got all the. or this washed up. We got this washed up, kind of parked our 6M in the way. All right, we'll just back up over here, jump in it, start it up. And we'll back up over here, we'll just park it in front of the 4640. Should be able to back this, I don't know, we're gonna have to straighten it out a little bit. And then back it in there. Now this is probably 30 foot. I'd like to have a planter this big. Actually, I do have one. It's just not... Not the best looking one. I got... And then I'm going to make another one, actually. I'm going to make 
two 12 row planners one one that's private and then I'm gonna make one that I might might release I don't know yet so let's see what do we have next to do I think all the hay and hay and stuff's done so I guess it's time to take this home now I tested all this out before and you can get it you can get it out of here you gotta hit it just right you gotta go nice and slow out of here and you can't really yeah so you can't go there this trailer's like really heavy because I made it really heavy for a reason not thinking that the pickups would be light lightly made I figured they'd be a lot heavier than they are but I can get it out of here I got it out of here before because I tested that to make sure that I could and I got it out but you have to angle it just right so you basically have to drive right through here and then you have to get it turned once it turns, then you got it. So we probably have it right now. Oh no, because the trailer's caught. Oh, no, it jumped up. See, and then once it catches you, yeah, now I'm messed up. But anyway, we're going to try and get this out of here. If it didn't just go. No. See, and then the cradle's messy up. But, we are almost out of here. Yeah, so we're going to take this out of here. We're just going to hit it full speed ahead and hopefully hop it out of here. And, never mind. See, and then it gets stuck and, like, there's no brakes on anything. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe if I... Dr oh, I know why. Because when you go up and over a hump, it doesn't want the... The trailer doesn't flex, so... That's why. There, so we got it out. Went ahead and just drove it out. We had to drop the trailer hitch down, actually. I had it backwards. I dropped it down a little. But now we should be able to... Pull around and get this unloaded I think we're gonna haul all the hay home and doing a little time lapse like we've been doing we might rearrange all this hay too I might rearrange all that just pull it all out and stack it I don't know we'll see how ambitious I am in a couple days if I win it I probably will restack everything or see when the new maps come out so if rolling hills will come out I won't bother restacking it cuz I'll get a shed on that map to stack hay on there inside of it so we're gonna take this to where the telehandler is which is straight across here now this one you can get in all these driveways however this one's a lot easier than the other one but it's kind of going up a hill I'm gonna pull in there just for fun the next one I won't because it's really tight it's hard to get swung in there with this trailer it gets stuck I don't really want the headaches of getting it stuck Especially when you reset stuff and it kind of just destroys everything. So this one will pull in. I probably just messed it up because I didn't get the trailer over far enough and didn't turn. Oh, so like most of it, like you would be able to just drive through these bushes. Plus the cradles are down, so you can go through it easy. And we're gonna put the cradles up as we drive down the hill. Now the reason I stacked them down the hill is partly because most of them rolled down to the end of the hill. And the other reason is it's flat and they're not really going to roll too much further. So I just put them against there. I'll just load them like that. So yeah, this, we're not going to probably go up this because it's really tight to eat in there. So I'll probably drive out the gate, drive down, come straight across here. And there's not really a lot of room here to turn in. You can turn in there. It's just super hard to. So I'll probably just load it over the... I don't know, I might swing in here. I might have to go find a spot to turn around in. That might be the hardest part. Because I don't know where... Where this road goes exactly. Okay, so it goes to a corner. So I can turn around there. Or I'll probably just go down to the end and turn around on the map there. Get turned around that way. So, we're going to load those up first. We'll get those a little later. Hopefully I don't forget them. And we'll go ahead and load them up, get a full full load here. So the way we load these, we're just going to turn like that. Probably just load them like this would be the easiest thing. If we have to stack them in a big tall triangle, we will. 
And actually, before we put this on, we're going to leave it up like that. Start the pickup up. We're going to take the pickup to town because you guys wanted it blue color. And I've been waiting for a while to use the pickup again and haul. Be like a main hauling video. So we're going to go ahead and change the pickup color. We're going to get a. I really like it white. I mean, white doesn't bother me. R reminds me of my old pickup that I had. It's basically just like this, except for it wasn't a dually and didn't have a flatbed on it. So we're going to take this down to the shop. I think we're going to do blue because a lot of you guys like blue and red. I like blue and I saw a lot of more blue comments than red. Some guy said no pink. I thought about doing pink, but I the pink the color pink doesn't really look good with this truck. Some things pink looks good on, but other things not much. So driving it driving it around, it's actually pretty easy to drive around with no load. So actually, I don't know what I'm doing. Go ahead and do this. Now my pickup is a little dirty. Probably should wash it. Let's go ahead and repair. How much does it cost? 24 bucks. Customize. Now not too many of you said anything about the road armor or any of that. I'm just going to leave it ranch. Ranch heavy. Could do green. That's weird. Could do an orange service truck like that. Make a service truck out of it. Alright, so blue... We got that blue, that color blue, and this color blue. I like the darker blue. Or the New Holland blue, some guy said. New Holland blue is like too light for me. I like a dark blue. Like that, kind of. Even darker. Kind of like that. This is kind of in between the two. It's like a lighter color. Lighter or darker? That almost looks purple. I think we'll get this color. There we go. Customize. Wow, paint job was free. So yeah, it kind of does look purple. Let's see what, since it was free, let's do a different one. Let's see what this one looks like. Zero dollars. I like it when it's zero dollars. See, that one really looks purple. Let's go here. I love how it bounces every time I get in the shop. There we go. What is that color? See, that looks more more blue, I guess. Oh, yeah, and I got this new mod where you can pick anything up and throw it. So there you go. So that's kind of like our automatic reset. So if I flip something, get something stuck, I'll just be able to pick it up. I know it's kind of unrealistic, but I guess it will be whatever. So there's our new pickup. And you can also, like, test out the suspension on mods. That's what I like it for. Like, you can see the back suspension's not a whole lot, the front's a little bit. I think that's the color we're going to go with. Let's see what red looks like first. I really do think that's the color. The old gold hoffer killer. This one right here. We could do navy. Navy looks different. It looks weird. Um, pink. We could do pink. That'd be cool. That'd be funny. Massey Ferguson or Case Red? Let's see what yeah, see, red just, I don't know. Like, just the cab alone, I like just to be white. Like, if it had a box, I think it'd look better. For colors. I really do think it'd be better if it had a box. Yeah, not sure. So you guys see, if you guys, if, like, everybody wants red, I'll probably switch it back to red. Or orange. Orange kind of looks good. I might do orange. Might do orange for a little bit. I don't know. We'll do we'll do blue for a while. We'll do a little gold hopper. I don't even know how to say that name. I'm just guessing. Probably should clean it up before I put the paint job on it, but I guess. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead, take this back, hook it onto the hay trailer, get the hay trailer loaded with the telehandler, and take it back to the house, dump it, and then we will load it up with the rest of the hay. Hopefully it'll be all, be able to all fit, and I won't have to drive down there twice. I didn't count them. I think they're all going to fit except for like four. I'm not sure. If we have to sack them three in a triangle, I'm going to call it triangle. Two on the bottom, one on top. 
we're gonna call that triangle stacking. But, uh, yeah, we're almost there. Doesn't take long when you got a 80 mile an hour pickup. Ah, oh, I scratched the paint. But anyway, we'll go hook on to the trailer. We're almost there. Might as well just not even cut the video. And just keep rambling and then hook on to it. Sun will back up and hook on. There we go. Shut her off. And we are going to kick the telehandler on. And we'll load. To oh, shoot. Actually, we don't do it there. We got to drive up here and do it. Got distracted. It's all right. So then, yeah, well, I guess we could spear it from the side and load it from the back if we want. Oh, boy. So then you go ahead. I like to do first person. On this hill, it's going to kind of suck because you're not going to be able to have much control because you got brakes and all that. I don't like how loading these first ones, you can't see nothing. I've actually gotten a lot better loading hay in first person than in like outside. Because outside you have to move the camera first person. The only thing you're missing is depth really. and But everything else you can see except for on the other side of the telehandler boom. But if you extend it out, usually you can see pretty good. It's the only like downside to it that I can find. So anyway, we're gonna get these loaded up, and we'll see you guys when I get this fully loaded. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. So we got this one over the edge here. Just gonna spear it like this and throw it like that so that it's gonna be a pain to get. Oh shoot. Actually this one is gonna be a pain to get now. Done done messed it up. Gosh dang it, I can't drop it low enough. Maybe if I crawl up over it. There we go. So close. Dang it. Thought that one was gonna be the easy one. Guess we can just do that. Oh, but I can't drop it low enough. Darn. We'll get it when we go to the next field, I guess. We'll just have to deal with it. Alright. So, the one thing I like about loading on one side is all these tire tracks look pretty sweet, I think. You got all the tires moving. So we're going to take this probably to the next field. I don't know if I'll show the next one. Because the next one's going to be triple. I'll show a time lapse of loading it. I don't know if I'll do one of, I'll do one of loading the trailer, but I don't know if I'll do one of unloading the trailer. I don't know. I'll probably do that one tomorrow. I don't know. Don't know for sure. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button. And we will hopefully see you in the next video. If I win the poll, you guys will see me tomorrow at 7 o'clock. So, if I see you there. That's good. And if not, I guess we'll see you guys on my channel. So we're going to pick up this last bale, and we will see you all later.